This video briefly describes methane soil gas testing and surveys. GeoForward is a nationwide provider of environmental testing reports. For more information, please find us online. Methane testing is the environmental engineering process that examines the soil gas underlying a property for explosion hazards. This process consists of drilling, vapor probe installation, sampling, laboratory analysis, and a final report which is stamped by a professional geologist. Methane testing assists building departments in health and safety determinations and mitigation requirements. Methane testing and methane mitigation systems are essential for properties inside special hazard zones. Methane has a chemical formula of CH4 and is the predominant compound by volume of natural gas. Methane gas is flammable, colorless, and odorless. Soil gas and can migrate underground through geological formations and into confined structures that are built above ground. As a result, the hazardous gas accumulates inside buildings and can concentrate to combustible levels over time. Typically, this hazard is a consequence of historical oil drilling, the natural surfacing of petroleum deposits, and landfill activities. Lower explosive limit, or LEL, means the minimum concentration needed to ignite. The upper explosive limit, or UEL, means the maximum concentration for the gas to burn. So, methane mitigation safety thresholds are based on the LEL and UEL range of concentrations. Awareness on the hazards of combustible soil gas rises from an explosion that took place at a department store located in the Wilshire Fairfax District of Los Angeles in 1988. Numerous people were injured and hospitalized, and the streets were littered with debris and structural remains. The disaster blew out windows and compromised the structural integrity of buildings blocks away. Based on a forensic investigation within the city of Los Angeles, geologists determined that the explosion was the result of high-pressure methane soil gas, which accumulated inside the department store from underground. Since then, various building departments and fire departments have implemented methane testing and soil gas mitigation requirements in special zones where natural gas is expected to exist underground. And this growing concern is prompting other environmental agencies to strengthen their policies moving forward. The typical root cause of natural gas in soil are historical oil fields, oil wells, gas wells, pipelines, crude oil storage ponds, natural surfacing petroleum deposits, and landfills. The City of Los Angeles established high-risk boundaries, which are called methane buffer zones and methane zones. Unless testing results prove otherwise, these zones require a methane mitigation system when developing. Other government agencies apply the same mitigation standards within their respective jurisdiction. The diagram here is a snapshot of the official Los Angeles methane zone and buffer zone map. The purple areas represent the methane buffer zones, whereas the pink areas represent methane zones. There are many facets to the fieldwork process of a methane test. In minimum, the fieldwork comprises a geophysical survey and an underground utility markout to prevent damage to subsurface lines when drilling. Next, a state-licensed driller must advance numerous boreholes on-site to depths greater than 20 feet. Meanwhile, a state-licensed geologist performs detailed site mapping, soil sampling, and soil logging. Soil gas probes are then constructed within each borehole per the appropriate regulatory agency standards. And upon successful calibration of the analytical testing equipment, soil gas samples are collected and analyzed. Quality assurance procedures generally require multiple phases of sampling and analysis. Upon the completion of the fieldwork, the site-specific data is compiled into one report. The reports provide details about the standards, methods, equipment, and results of the test. Furthermore, the reports include informative figures and tables to visually demonstrate the data. Lastly, conclusions and recommendations are provided, along with the official stamp and signature of a state-licensed geologist. It is important to understand that the methane test reports do not include methane mitigation plans. Instead, they determine the necessity for a methane mitigation system altogether, and also provide parameters and specifications in order for the mitigation plan to be designed. Methane testing is usually a prerequisite to the methane mitigation design process. A methane mitigation system prevents methane soil gas from entering a structure. This professional service is a division of the environmental engineering industry and involves intensive planning to protect the occupants of a building. Mitigation plans are custom-designed and site-specific. 
Methane engineers utilize a project's architecture and structural plans as well as the methane test report data in order to design the system. Moreover, mitigation plans must achieve final approval by the building department as well as the fire department. Plan checkers make sure the system parameters are in accordance with methane test data and respective building codes. Suspiciously low cost reports are usually performed below the professional standard of care. An improper budget restricts the ability to perform a methane test within the official standards and guidelines. Suspiciously low cost reports are also known to have serious errors that go unnoticed by clients up front. And the ramifications of an underperformed methane test can end up posing a danger to building occupants and costing a fortune down the line. So best practices suggest avoiding low-budget methane tests and to check that a licensed professional geologist is in charge of your project. This video is brought to you by GeoForward. You can find us online for more information about environmental engineering reports and other related services.